Welcome to the second video in the Cross References series. The previous video covers how to insert and edit references in your document. In this video, you will learn how to use different elements to format your references and how to save those formats and use them later. You will also learn how to set the default reference format in your documents. Take a look at the bottom part of the Edit Reference window. It is used to format the appearance of the reference. You can format the reference appearance in the document by adding either static or dynamic elements. A static element is just plain text that will appear exactly as you type it, and dynamic elements are context-based, and they change according to the location of the reference and the target in the document. For example, the page number is a dynamic element, and if there is a change, it is automatically updated to display the correct number of the page where the target is located. To insert a static text, just place the cursor in the format area and type it. To insert a dynamic element, use the Elements pop-up menu. Again, these elements are automatically updated based on the reference target and their location in the document. We will insert the page number element. And now, Melel will replace the element in this reference with the page number where the reference target is located. When you insert the page number element, you can double click it to open the conditional page number format. This window lets you change the appearance of the page element based on the target location. For example, if the target is above on the same page, I will change the element to show above. I can change other settings in the same way. Refer to the user manual to learn more about other elements you can add to references. And to apply any character style, use the character palette to apply attributes or styles. In addition to the regular document styles, you can also choose the Use Surrounding option to automatically match the reference character style to its surrounding text. Click OK to apply your changes, and you're done. As you just learned, you can create quite complex and useful reference formats, but you don't have to recreate them manually every time you want to use them. Instead, you can save your reference format by choosing Save Format from the Reference Formats pop-up menu. Enter a name for the format and click OK. The format will now be available to you in all of your documents. And how do you use it? Easy! Just open the Reference Formats pop-up menu and choose the desired format. Mellow is preset with some useful formats, but of course, you are free to create and use your own. If you frequently use the same format for all of your references, it's a great idea to set it as the default format for your documents. And it's simple to do. Choose Mellow Preferences from the menu bar, click the General tab, and use the Default Reference Format pop-up menu to set the default format. This format will now be used by default when you create a new reference. And this concludes this video. You should now be able to format your references as you desire, to save the format and reuse it later, and to set the default reference format for your documents. We highly recommend that you view and try the corresponding tutorial to practice what you've just learned. So go ahead, click the link below, and give it a try. So what's next? In the next video, you will learn how to navigate between references and targets in your document. We hope you've enjoyed this video and appreciate any feedback. Please feel free to add it as comments to this video. Bye!